doing? My name is Thunder, and welcome to part 16 of Tokyo Extreme Racer 2. Now, as you probably noticed, yes, there's a lot of money now. Like I said, I this game's a much of a grind fest. I don't want to put you guys through me losing a lot of races and all that kind of stuff with, you know, not having the best parts available for me on the car. So, there's this car already has some of those parts, but we're going to... With this, we're now going to be able to go all the way. And it's kind of necessary to do so because simply just because, well, it does a lot. It does improve the car by quite a bit. We're also going to... Even though, though, in some cases, we're sacrificing the visual design of the car, admittedly. Whatever we can do to make this car more competitive is, some, is what I'm going to do. I like that rear bumper, though. The rear bumper's nice. Huh. I really do not want to put this rear spoiler on. So I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> That's not what... We're not going to do that. I'm sorry. And then we'll put these uh, wheels on. Because better wheels, less weight. Because we want to... You can see we stripped some weight away. So hopefully it'll... The power will work better. And in fact, why don't we give this a new paint job? Hmm. Why do I want to paint it? Give me a second here. Oh yeah, let's go with the white. I like the white scheme on this. It looks pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna do. I, I don't. Uh, put make these white to kind of give it a match, and then new stickers, shall we? Now, I did do a few wanderers, so I may use one of their stickers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the caffeine one. No, I am going to go with lightning one because I like the lightning one. See, <laughs> oh God, excuse me. So yes, I apologize for having to do this to you guys, but. At the situation we're in, I think it could be the best thing for us to do. So anyways, let's continue on with what we're doing and venture towards something. Alright, so, with the uh, adjustments made to our car, let's see how, if, it, if it'll perform any better. My, my hope is yes, it will, but we don't know yet. It certainly seems to feel like it handles a lot better. Possibly, maybe. Hey, do you want to do it for me? I'm too lazy. Thank you! <laughs> it's actually, the real answer is I wanted to be in front of you to start, because I'm a dick like that. Anyways, this is Racer Rick from Top Level. Again, Lancer, because Lancer team. So I still expect these races will be competitive, which is okay with me. I, I could easily go with an A-Class car right now, do the money, but I kind of don't want to do that right now. I want to play it safe. <laughs> or, well, when I mean play it safe, I mean, you know, just make it so that, you know, the races are so close. I Yeah, I am definitely noticing this car is faster. I, I think the reduced weight has definitely uh, made made some definite improvements. And hey, six gear, yeah! Doing over 170 miles an hour. Very, very good. 175, 100, oh yeah, 177 there. And 1,000 CP and a new car available. Yes, I will gladly take that. So yeah, now you see why I did it. Because <laughs> you know, we need the now the car should hope should uh have some more uh, grunt for later on. So, oh god, I still have. I don't know how how how. how you know, I was like, oh my god, are we already done with top level? Oh no! Yes, that's right. I forgot. I hadn't beaten the Tokyo Jungle Leader. I completely forgot. And I was like, "Wait, what? I can't be already done with to top level." Nope. Tokyo Jungle Leader. I've completely forgotten. Kind of a bad place to start, to be honest. Especially because this guy is actually quick. Oh dear! Slow down. Kind of have no other po no other choice, really, to be honest. But the good news is he hasn't completely left me. I still could have a chance here. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Yeah, look at that. We're catching up! Yeah! The tap wasn't necessary, but I don't care. I mean, look at this. We're doing... 175, 176, 177, 178. Yes, yes. 
180! 100, this is an RX-7 that is going fast now. It definitely, it's definitely one to, to do good. Oh dear. Oh hey, green taxi! Oh wait. You're serious, really? We were just about to win, too! And then he pulls that move. He's like, oh no. Gotta preserve it. Gotta make his car go slower next time. Ah, oh, What a joke. <laughs> what an absolute joke. And apparently, and unfortunately, we've also passed the other pink car, so... Fine. Come back to you later, because apparently, you, apparently now, that, now that I've taken an easy way out, you want to make my life harder. I see how it is. Well, uh, yeah, like, it's, it's just really, you know, the thing with wanting to make sure I have a car that will still be competitive, because we've been having all the trouble over the last several parts, as well as the fact that, again, the game is a huge grind fest. You, it's, I've seen uh, videos where people said they to get a car, they literally had to do like 500 races, or I think it's particularly the NSX, but or um, they're having a hard time really getting any the things they want because. They're not getting enough money. It's a common complaint with the game. Most people you'll talk to will say the same thing. So, and look at me. I'm a I'm someone who loves this game, and I say that. So, that's kind of really how it is. Yeah, that's ridiculous. We're just about to win, and then he's and he's so far back. He should have no other uh, decision. But no. What is it with the people? The drivers constantly. He's not turning into the correct lane. It's ridiculous. Oh, hey, here's that last Cupid Arrows. The Ahana Integra, after all of the Civics that we have seen, we get an Integra. It is White Rider. The same kind of Integra design that a lot of other rivals seem to be have been going with. They just seem to really have a crave for it, I guess. Oh, really? What are you trying to do, mister? I had to really slow down because it's because he's suddenly turning into the lane I was trying to get into. Ooh, yikes! That could have been a little better, but I don't think the Integra is getting enough speed. So though it's gaining, it won't be gaining for long, especially because we're coming in this section and just sneak through like that. I was hoping it would do something, new, although it didn't, which doesn't. But though that doesn't surprise me. The well, fact that we're actually kind of getting near that uh, little area too, where we can skip it, would be good because this is—I know for a fact—this is the last uh, Cupid Arrows, and that's the win. No new car, obviously, because I think we've unlocked all the Integras by now. I think there's at least four different versions. There's two, two doors and two four doors. And I think really the only difference is uh, just the kind of integra it is because the older or newer because the, the newer ones had a rear bumper that was work that was slightly different than the older ones had was you know smaller. So anyways, I'm just gonna give it a bit so I can, don't have to worry about that section that's coming up because it's you know it's a very it's a very tart it's a very tart ex what it's a very tight corner so just doing this so I don't have to worry about it. Anyways, that's good enough. Alright, come on, let's do it, Cupid Arrows. Oh yeah, here we go. Cupid Arrows time. After all the Civics and one Integra, the leader of Cupid Arrows drives a Honda S2000. Just like in TXR1. It is cool, cat. Kinda miss the old name. In TXR1, I believe it was Sonic Runner. Because it was like a bright blue S2000. This it's a more teal, it's a more teal green color. So it's kind of a. So I guess maybe the Sonic Runner name wouldn't exactly fit anymore. But as you can see, it's not. A, oh boy, that was very hairy. I'm trying to keep this S2000 behind me. It's not not exactly an easy because I'm not losing it. It's right on my tail. I gotta slow down a bit for this corner. Oh yes, come on, yes, hit the back of it. Good, good, good. We're in good hands, I want to say, because 
Especially now that uh, Cool Cat's done that. What are you doing, Miss? I mean, I like your car, but shouldn't you shouldn't be doing that. It's not how you're supposed to be driving. Then again, so many rivals does that regardless of what they drive. So why am I even meant? Why am I even waste, wasting my breath? Oh my God, this S2000 is not. This S2000's got momentum, but nope, it ain't catching me. Uh-uh. The win is ours. Good, good, good. There's actually two S2000s in the game, but the one that she's driving is the one you've already have unlocked at the beginning of the game, so... Nothing to unlock there. And we're back to autopilot, because I don't think... Unfortunately, I don't think the Tokyo Jungle League is going to come back out because he's an idiot! A bona fide grade A idiot. So in the meantime, let's do this uh, guy right here. It is going to be ma max credit from Freeway, so skyline time. She got a good uh, momentum, but it just wasn't enough. Really wish the autopilot would stop just kind of forcing to, to be there. It just it gets really annoying. So unfortunately, my art, this could be a little difficult because, again, Skyline, but... Ah, shit. I should have moved a little bit more so I could just sneak past, but I didn't. Anyways. The good news is I'm actually keeping up with it, in fact. Uh, just like that. Zup! I'm in the lead. Now, unfortunately, I have... I just have the slightest feeling Max Credit's going to do the same thing as Marathon Mary, as whatever danger freak oh no maybe not he actually took the right path good for him he knew what he was doing and I slammed into that and he is charging hard he was swerving enough so I couldn't get a bump off him to keep him back but now he seems to have slowed down a bit so I can no 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 not doing that there we go. Keep the lead. Keep the lead on him. And there we go. That's pretty much a win. Wow, we've been doing pretty well with freeway so far. I honestly expected I wouldn't. I'd barely be winning against any of them because skylines. But no, we're we're so far doing quite excellent with them. That's su that's genuinely surprised me. I mean, they're challenging to say the least because again, skylines. So they got power. But wow, I can't really complain about that to be honest. And yep, he's he's not coming back, is he? Uh, of course. But there's another blue arrow right here. So let's challenge this blue arrow. Is going to be. Let's see. Oh, we got a, another TR racing with the geezer and a 180SX. Which is always nice. I like the 180SX, it's a nice vehicle. Also, a very excellent starter choice vehicle in uh, TXR2. Pretty much the best three is the 180SX, the Sylvia S14, and this RX7. It's like the three best ones you can go for. I never, I've honestly never seen a reason to go with a Class C vehicle as a starting vehicle. Especially at this point in the game, but that's an option. Shouldn't, I uh, kind of screwed that up a bit. I want to keep the guy behind me. Although I'm going to have to slow down, so I don't think I will be able to for very long. Oh, he's kind of going all over the place, though, so that kind of helps me out. Okay. I'm gonna hit the brakes early because I don't want to overdo it. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're hitting me, and because of that, I get pushed enough to run into the wall like that. God damn. Oh my god! Green Taxi went against me! After everything you've done for me, why do you. Why do you do this to me? Ah, oh, god, I. The corners, they always outdo you in the corners. Oh god, that was, that was, that was. I have no comment for that one. Jeez. All right, you know what? I'll be back. I am going to do a jump cut. We're gonna get that Tokyo Jungle guy back out, and we're gonna beat him. Cause I said so. 
And I am back. We started right away with a a new member of TR Racing being out, who also happens to drive a 180 SX. Don't think it, judging by the rear lights, it's not exactly the same version though. It is Pitmaster in the dark in the blue 180 SX, as I just mentioned. I've also uh, adjusted. Whoa, okay. I've also adjusted the uh, the final gear. I've I brought it lowered now, so for one reason and one reason only, acceleration. If it's actually done a sacrifice to the top end, though, I may turn it back, but right now it's it's just primarily to be for acceleration sake. Oops. And not that, not that it really matters, we kind of really won that, we kind of easily won that race, so no harm done. Anyways. So, Mr. Danger Freak, or whatever your name is again. So unfortunately I have to start behind him, but we, which isn't good because he, he takes off so quick, but it's what needs to be done. Okay. We're just going to see. Yeah, he, he goes. Kind of waiting for that moment, though, where... He, he slows down in pace so I can start slowly catching up. I don't know when that will be, though. Think, I think because he's ahead of me, though. Yep, there we go. He'll take it properly. Although he's hit the back of, of, of a freeway member I didn't beat, actually. Which would be Goncho or something? Or Rocky? No, Rocky. Or, or, no, I don't remember what the name is anymore. Wow, he really screwed up there. Jesus. I guess not that I'm complaining. I finally got to beat his, this, beat this guy. With that, a good win, because he screwed up. New car available, so that's actually an Impreza we did not have. Ooh. Anyways. And... Oh. I think I ac yeah, I accidentally hit the replay. Oops. I was beginning to think, what? Is there supposed to be a black screen? Nope, there's not. I think what I'm going to do is a bit of a... Jump cut, maybe no. Probably just wait it out here, wait for that uh, skyline to come back so we can face him and probably end the part on that. Come on, any day now. Any day. Any day. Get a bit of speed so I'm not he doesn't just completely go way past me. Alright. Oh! Jesus! That sudden initial reaction and I reject this thing and god damn it. Damn it. Oh jeez. Alright. Whatever. I think it was Rocky, wasn't it? Yes, Rocky. Oh come on. Trying to do that, do it so I can get ahead of somebody. That was a good attempt, but not enough. It's so hard to do, and I'm not gonna have to forcefully turn into this lane. Whatever. Am I actually? Oh my god, I'm actually gaining on this R33. And now we're kind of just ruffling it up. Uh uh. Thank you for getting off me. <laughs> because that was a bit ridiculous. Ooh! Ouch! So I. Th okay, this guy is going all over the. All over the place. Keep it together. Keep. Come on. Keep it together. There you go. Kind of like how you can either choose to go in the inner or outer. But just go in the inner because it's straight. The outers might be a turn. Although, unfortunately, here comes a turn. Okay! Oh, no! No! Damn it! And now he's probably won the race. Although, he's going kind of slow. I mean, come on, you got an R33 Skyline. You should be pushing it. Oh, 
I can't believe I'm actually... Okay, the green taxi almost screwed with me again. Come on, I thought we were supposed to be friends, but I managed to keep it held. Careful, there we go. Good, good, good. Managed to not hit the fighter. I think he did slightly, though, or hit another vehicle, and a win. So, take that, and a new car available. Huzzah! Good, good, good. Ugh. Sorry, I always have to clear my throat a lot, I find. Okay, there's one more blue guy up there. I'm going to do this. Whoa, Mike. I'm going to do this uh, blue guy up here, and then I think I'm going to call it for the part. You know, at least now that the fact that the ARC-7 is doing as it is. I may put the, the gear issues back. I'm not, I am not really noticing... I haven't really been... Actually, no. Maybe I, I'll keep it as it is. Because, you know, it's not, it hasn't really affected me negatively, so... So I don't know why I'm really complaining that much, I guess. Alright. Come on. Ooh, buddy. I uh, slightly tapped it, but not too serious. So who is this uh, blue arrow that we're going to be looking at here? It is going to be... Drum roll, please. All those then. Another Freeway member, another R33. This time in red, it is Roadrunner. I mean, maybe Roadrunner can be an R for the Skyline, because Skylines were the GTR model, basically, were some of the most dominant... Uh, cars of the time in, from Japan. So maybe the name is accurate, but I don't know. You're, you're one to, you're, you can freely call it, look at it as however way you'd want. Ooh boy. Okay. Now I'm thinking Roadrunner is fast and rocky here, but come on, let's, let's catch him. Catch him! Catch him! We're catching him! Oh yes, we are catching him. Gotta quickly move out of the way for that. There we go. Ooh, he almost hit the car somewhat because of me, but he managed to just avoid it. Okay. So far we're receiving okay, but he is gaining on me. He's definitely faster than Rocky, I'll give him that, I think. May, he may actually get me here, to be honest. Oh, he hit the back of the van, though. I think he's really struggling with it, too. Jeez. Okay, maybe not. I may have this race after all. Which, of course, is always something you would like to have to say. Because it always gives you the advantage. <laughs> Anyways. So definitely one of the longer races we've done, but it does result in a win in exactly 1,000 CP. Interesting. But there we go. RX-7 running supreme once again. Ha 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 ha. Ain't it great. So I th that's going to cover it for that part then. Because, you know, you, we, we covered quite a few rivals, I'd like to say. But anyways, in the meantime, of course, stay tuned for part 17. And of course, as always, guys, thank you for watching. And take care.